All right. Hi there, everybody. It's Cassie, and this is part two for backlighting uh, in Second Life. So uh, this is the same wind light that I showed you guys earlier. I haven't edited it at all. It's not even like edit sky preset. It, it's just how it is. <laughs> um, and I figured I would show you guys just with a simple outfit that also has specular map on it, including the hair, too, with materials. Um, just to see how it looks once you mess with the backlighting a bit. So I am just going to move slightly. I'm going to 180 as much as I can and make sure that the light is behind me. It's okay if, like, I'm not being super picky right now. It's okay if my backdrop isn't, like, completely behind me, too. It's more about me trying to get that backlighting. So uh, the easiest way to get this pristine lighting like if you have it this close you can't see the details as well as you could with the camera I had before so uh, you can either go to camera tools photo tools and use the view angle but I'm just going to use control zero you can use eight nine and zero so eight backs it up zero resets it and nine helps you zoom on in to the closeness that you want alrighty so I was hoping for more of a backlight shot like this I just got to make sure I'm actually doing backlit. And when you have this uh, wind light, like I said, I'll have it in the description below. So if you'd like it, feel free to grab it. If you ever want a certain angle from where your prop is, just go to Edit Sky Preset. Go down here where it says Estimated Angle. And then you can move it where you want specifically in case you want it in a certain direction. And if you also want it to get larger than what I made as well, you can do that too if you want it brighter. Maybe you want to raise it a little bit so it's not directly on you. There we go. So this is backlit lighting. All I did was mess with a few things. This uh, SG Focus, which is Sun Glow. We, the, raising this just a little bit higher so it's more late evening instead of nighttime. And then I also just moved the angle a little bit. So again, you can mess with this if you want. If you want to change the color, you can. Here, let's change it. Um, orange there we go and I'm going to take this photo and then we will take it into Photoshop I did already record this once so we might see my photo from last time already there oh no I closed out of it cool so we're gonna open it and go down over here to desktop and then this is our photo right here I recorded it earlier but I'm stoned so when I did it and I edited the photo I finished it and everything I'm like I forgot to put the light behind my back. <laughs> I forgot to do the one thing I was supposed to teach. So this is part two. <laughs> I know people are never supposed to admit like what their mistakes are because no one would notice, but it's just, it was funny to me. So anyways, we have our lighting over here. You can still see the red on this side, the blue on this side, making me pop from the background. So even though the back is still kind of bleeding into my skin slightly, it still looks like I'm not part of it, like I'm my own entity. So the first thing you always do when you're editing is go to Control J. Now we are going to just make that light pop a little bit more. Normally I would also go into all the editing of the face and stuff, but I'm just showing you guys how to do this lighting real quick. So we are going to darken it over here. I had it on highlights on accident. I want it on mid-tone, around 45, and I am just using the dodge tool, or the burn tool, just to make it a little bit darker over here. And then... Um, it's important to darken your face a little bit too, where the light wouldn't normally be. I need that lower though, way lower. Holy crap. Let's go more 17. And let's go to shadow instead of mid-tone, just because there's so much light behind. Normally I don't like using shadow for, uh, changing how the face lighting looks, just because that's normally more for, like, um, contour instead of shadows. Like, look at that. You can see it's getting kind of orange back here just because of the contour of the colors. I'm going to have to fix that up a bit. I'm going to undo, actually, because I held that the whole time. It was like a one-pen round of it. There we go. I just did the face now. And let's also do the boobas, just the edges of them. I'll go back to mid-tones for this part. There we go. Just kind of bringing shadow away from where that light is, like just trying to add a little bit of contrast to it, help bring your face out a bit more, bring yourself out a bit more, going back to shadow for the face. There we go. 
just brings it a little bit more to like a realistic spot. Next, we are going to highlight in a bit more. We're going to go to the dodge tool with midtones and just take over these arms, bring a little bit of lightness into that. Uh, we have our light hair right here, so it's kind of good to just go in and lighten that. You don't want to have like a little halo effect of light though, so when you want to go in, actually zoom in <laughs> on the hair and you can even go like into soft light and whatever color you're using so if you just want to use the orange I want to use a darker orange man I'm so bad at this I don't know why you guys watch me <laughs> I'm like the newbiest tutorial person ever and I ramble Ugh. I wouldn't even watch me no way too dark after all see I'm still stoned why am I doing this let's try that and lower it not at 72 let's go like 38 so we're just like lightening just a little spots near the hair just to make it kind of like fit more with the light coming into the shot you can do the same also with your arms if you want to make it easier on yourself then just do a um, selective selection tool right here and it'll just go over your skin. What bothers me though is I can see this little tiny patch right there on the arm, so it's gonna be uneven. I'm gonna have to blur it out anyways. It's annoying. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this and I'll blur it out. I'll clean it up, so. Quick one, and then I'm gonna go to color dodge. Very lightly, even put it like not directly on it. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, you can still see some patchiness. Oh, I hate that. It works better if you know how to use the pen tool. I suck with the pen tool. I can try to learn for future videos, but oh my gosh, I suck with the damn pen tool. Okay, I'm just blurring hairs and stuff, just helping keep this kind of soft and light. Make you stand out more than the hair that should be not super textured and thick. Like, their hair is beautiful. They do wonderful with it. But, I mean, in Second Life, in general, hair normally does look kind of fake. So, it's good to blend it in a little bit. I'm going to lighten this little spot of hair that's too dark. Shadow. There we go. Better. Yay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's zoom back on out. Well, no. Never mind. I lied. Let's go in a little bit. I'm going to lighten up just the face just a tiny bit. Show the nose, the chin, a little bit of the under eye, but we're going to go right back on in and darken the under eye just because I like to have it look as real as I can, and sometimes adding lines and wrinkles helps. A little bit more right here. No, too bright. Bright light. There, better. I want that like soft glow instead of super seriousness. My lips always look weird with this underbite whenever I look at like a side angle. I don't like it. I might, I like my underbite, but I don't like how full my lips look here when they're supposed to be kind of small. Okay. I'm almost done, and then I'll actually get to like the goods. So, we have this lighting right here. You look fab. We haven't even touched any of the adjustments at all yet. So let's do that for a bit. We're going to go to curves. If you want, you can click around and see if you like any colors more than you like this. I might actually go with that one that's kind of blue. That's pretty. Right there. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to raise the levels just a bit, the curves of it, not the levels. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, but this is so bright, too. I'm going to have to... Yeah. I'm going to go into the burn tool with shadows on. And then I just... It's just a little too light for me. There we go. That's so much better. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I totally ruined this, but whatever. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Soft light. Let's go back in for a moment and just lighten, even though I just darkened. Bring back what we just lost. There we go. And now we are going to go into... I don't need levels. Fuck levels. 
but we are going to go into brightness and contrast and just if you raise the contrast a bit it just helps bring you out and make you pop a bit more you're no longer part of the background whatsoever like it looks like I even maybe just photoshopped in a background <laughs> like it doesn't look like it so it's a big help um, it's a lot of little things I'm probably rambling and making no sense at all so if I am and you still have questions leave them in the comments I'll happily answer any questions you have just because I know I don't make sense to a lot of people so I completely understand if I'm not making sense to you Okay, what am I doing next? I don't have much editing to do with this. Normally, I like I edit the crap out of my face and stuff because I don't like like I recently fixed my nose because I always had like this big pointed tip, so I finally just flattened it out, and it looks a lot better for me now. But normally, I have to edit that and stuff, like make it look more realistic. Uh, we are going to go into filter and sharpen, and that'll just help define the lines around your body, sharpening you a bit more. And then we are going to filter noise, add noise. I do sometimes like to mess with the exposure, raise that a tiny bit. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to save that. <laughs> and then if you ever want to add like smoky shadows or something to, you can. Uh, they are on DeviantArt. You can get them for free. Just make sure you look at the licensing and make sure you're using the correct ones. You don't want to uh, get in trouble for stealing someone's content or something without paying for it or giving them the proper credit. That's for in general. You should always do that. So there's like smoke if you want to do that. I'm not going to use smoke, but you can if you want. Oops. Edit step backwards. Or you can. My go-to is always. Where are they? My dust particles. <laughs> I love my dust particles. Let's turn this all the way up. It just adds kind of a nice like photographic like look to it in my opinion. I like it. But yeah, that's it. This photo was a lot easier than the last time, so I'm happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!